heavyweight professional bout. This to be contested in a two five minute rise with a one minute break. The bout is sponsored by Club Krem, Bristol's premier table dancing venue. It is a win by KO, submission of referee stoppage, judge's decision. Introducing the Warriors once again to you, first inviting out of that red corner from Tipton and the West Midlands, weighing in at 97.5 kilos, representing Glenn Bates Fight Club, combat sports heavyweight national champion, trained in boxing, judo, and wrestling, and making his professional debut here tonight, please welcome Tony Bentley. And his opponent, Rebetta Du, damage within the octagon from Holland, weighing in at 100 kilos, representing Tatsujin Dojo, amateur shooto champion, trained by Martin Dijon, and of course, he too is making his professional debut. Please welcome Dion Starry. And once again, your referee controlling the action will be Mr. Howard Hughes. Stand by for action within the afternoon. So, Mark, we've got an interesting one here. Uh, both fighters, both from amateur backgrounds, both making their professional debuts. Yeah, again, uh, Tony Bentley, uh, the third member of Lem Bates, uh, to make his professional debut tonight. And also Dion is making his professional debut. Uh, Dion, I think, is quite experienced from uh, amateur shooto. But I believe it's the same as uh, what Tony's used to, except there is headshots, but they are quite heavily padded and protected. So this could be quite an interesting battle. And here we go. Look for some heavy hands. Now, is there, is there going to be that possible risk, you know, with both of these guys here, um, perhaps looking to rush in, so to speak? Yeah, I think Dion's just done the first of the rushing in. Um, I was saying. Tony trapped on his front. He does have to get out there quickly onto his back. He's done well. He's given up full mount. Um, he's got to be looking to get out of that bad position. It's a bad position to be in. Dion looking to sit up and start striking down. And not only that, but uh, ben Bentley's actually pushing himself towards the fence. I don't know if he notices that. Obviously, if Dion gets in that position, you know, it's... He is there. He needs to turn himself. He needs to turn his head the other way and perhaps use the fence uh, as leverage to get Dion upset off the full mount position. Dion striking down Webb. Could be giving up his back there. Now ben Bentley looks... He Bentley could be in trouble here. He needs to... <clears throat> and he's start doing something. Dion has got both hooks in. He should be looking to sink in the rear naked and stretch him out here. But I think he's opting to strike. Tony would do better to stand on his feet and pyramid out. Taking Dion's weight off the top. Yeah. Let him slip forward and fall off his shoulders. Hasn't got the hooks locked in. Tony needs to turn in now. Tony needs to turn in. Dion's trying to keep that underhook in un under his arm, you know, to stop him from getting that turn. Yeah, so Dion needs still to step over back. now and get the second hook in. Bentley's back up. Oh, Tony's doing well. Tony doing well to get out of there. He needs to stand now. Again, giving away four mounts. That was a big right hand. Turning to give away. I think Tony's got a bad cut there from an elbow from Dion. Yeah, it could be in danger of a stop. He can't quite see from here. It's on the forehead, on the forehead, and that's it. That's unlucky for. Uh, that is quite unlucky for Tony. But uh, in all fairness, Dion did dominate from the off. Clinch took him down. Uh, Tony was giving away a bad position. Now, for those who are wondering why it was actually stopped, it is because the cut is above Tony's eye. There is risk of blood going into the eye, causing vision problems, which could end up, you know, with him being worse off. That's right. To carry on. That's right. 